Hello people and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Okay guys, got a post here from the HBAR Foundation and it's in regards to a post about Neuron, uh, a company that I've covered very recently. And yeah, it's just giving you a bit more of a uh, more in-depth scope of what they do and so I thought I'd share this with you. And um, just to quickly, you know, tap back to what I covered of them previously because it was a interview that they'd done with the HBAR Ball. So just a quick reminder, they had recently done, um, it, it was basically like a launch of a project that they were doing and they had, they said they had like big executives there and government officials there as well. So um, these guys are really, really growing um, and coming along very nicely. So I thought I'd just show you a quick update in regards to them from the HBAR Foundation. So they say, Leveraging the Hadira network, the at Neuron World DPIN is revolutionizing service networks through its decentralized network, in brackets DSN, infrastructure to transform use cases ranging from drone flights, food delivery, video streaming, and beyond. By removing dependency on centralized service providers, Neuron is helping democratize access to service provision whilst creating a more efficient, cost-effective and user-centric service ecosystem. Through Hedera and a peer-to-peer -peer architecture, Neuron aims to create a more efficient, secure and user-centric service ecosystem, empowering both providers and consumers. By decentralizing the service ecosystem, Neuron is helping to combat existing issues concerned with scalability and outages, inefficient intermediaries, data privacy, and security. And so, um, yeah, as I say, guys, this kind of use case to me, I think is something that could be absolutely huge because I don't know if you've heard about this, but like places like Amazon are, are looking right now at doing like drone delivery. Like they're trying to do that as a service now where drones are doing the deliveries rather than obviously people and i think in the future that's what it's going to be i don't think you know um it's going to be you know humans doing deliveries forever i think we will go into like you know the more ai kind of world and robotic kind of world and i do think drones will be doing deliveries and this is something that neuron is um is basically trying to help aid so what um neurons technology will be it will be basically like the air traffic control to make sure that like, the skies are clear for these drones to make a safe path to make the delivery and that kind of thing so you'll be able to track the drone and obviously this would also be a thing where if you've made like an order for example for delivery you'll be able to track the drone to see on its way right like i don't know if you've seen that with some companies now you can kind of track the package you can see exactly where it is so this will be the kind of thing where if you've made an order you'll be able to look and say oh okay yeah i can see you know the drones like five minutes away that kind of thing and track where it is so you'll always know where the package is um you know who doesn't want that kind of service at this point in life right at the end of the day one of the things that you've always had um in the past was you know packages going missing and that kind of thing and not being able to account for where these may have gone and to be honest with you even from the perspective of the actual company right because there are people unfortunately who would take advantage of this kind of thing and they may get the package but then say hey i didn't receive it right and they can't prove one way or the other so this makes it good on both ends because the company can track the package and say well we clearly see that the, you know the package was delivered to your door because we can see that through the tracking technology and obviously the uh the buyer can also see well hey look this is where it's saying the package is so it's clearly not at my house so where is it like that's where it's saying it is on the map so you clearly need to go and get it so it makes it safe on both sides so it's a positive on both ends so i think this is something that they would clearly want so i just got one other little thing that i'll just show you here so neuron um neuron is building off of the success of their pioneering drone tracking network to lead a transformation of service management with their decentralized service network in brackets dsn infrastructure their web3 powered approach bypasses centralized control directly connecting service providers and consumers by leveraging distributed ledger technology and smart contracts neuron fosters a secure and transparent ecosystem and so again yeah this is what i keep saying in regards to crypto and um, what what's so incredible it's taking out the middleman decentralization right and this is where it's going to make things so much better right because that's something that we've had to deal with for a long time in life but 
making it so it's you know decentralized it just makes it so much more transparent it's just going to be such a better um a better quality of product when you've got no middleman i think that's what's great and i think this is why you know like for example banks and some institutions they do fear this kind of technology because it will make some companies extinct right it's the same way like with drones as they're doing like drone deliveries obviously that's going to make certain people's jobs gone right because they're not going to need humans to do that kind of work no more um same with ai technology right so there is that worry in terms of like you know what's this going to do for the average working people who are in certain types of careers when things like ai and drones can just kind of do the job for them which is faster and cheaper right so yes you do have to take the pros with the cons but in terms of you as a consumer it's going to be a huge positive so you know this is the kind of thing that i'm talking about like these kind of use cases like in the future i can see this being huge because i see this being the future i see drones being like a delivery um service in the future you know i can imagine x amount of years from now this is the standard that it is a drone dropping off a package as standard rather than you know you have in a uh, a delivery person right so you know this is where i can see in the future going you know much bigger and this could scale right who knows like this could lead to more than just drone traffic management what if it was to actually do flight traffic management you know now again this is talking much more in the future and you know building off of the success of what they're currently doing but this is what i'm saying where it could lead to right so just one other quick thing i will just show you about this I just want to show you where they say like why they chose Hadira. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but just so you can get an idea of their thoughts about Hadira. So why did Neuron choose Hadira? Neuron chose the Hadira network and its services for a variety of reasons. Hadira's high throughput, low latency network is crucial for supporting the ever-growing demands of a decentralized service ecosystem. Its ability to handle a large volume of transactions efficiently is essential for applications like food delivery services, or video streaming platforms where real-time data exchange is vital. Also, Hadira's dedication to security and stability aligns perfectly with Neuron's core principles. The Hadira consensus mechanism ensures the immutability of transaction data so that it is fully tamper-proof. This robust security layer is critical for building trust within a decentralized network, especially when dealing with sensitive data like user information or financial transactions. So, there you have it guys absolutely um, amazing and look at what they're saying in terms of why they've chose hadira we know that this is the kind of thing that hadira can provide not all networks can do this right so this is what i mean like neuron didn't have to go with hadira but you can see the reasons why they've said this and it looks like hadira was the right choice for them which again doesn't that just tell you a lot about hadira and what it can do right and you know i've said it numerous times but this is just one industry right like hadira can be tackling numerous other industries as well healthcare data rwa tokenization cross-border payments it, it can be doing all these types of things at once all this can all be going on on the hadira hashgraph so to me absolutely amazing to be honest with you so thought i'd share this with you guys think it's really great and again uh, neuron is definitely one to watch so I, I will be continuing to keep an eye on these guys because i think they are you know they are continuing to do really well so they're definitely one that i think could be you know one of the uh the greater value bringers for the hadira hash graph so check them out guys uh the post is on the hbar foundation if you want to have a look and then there's also a blog spot about them on hadira's uh, official website as well but what do you guys think Neuron using Hadira to revolutionize Deepin. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. But until next time, take care.